O God, whose blessed Son made himself known to his disciples in the breaking of bread, open the eyes of our faith that we may behold him in all his redeeming work, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. from the Acts of the Apostles. Saul, still breathing threats and murder against the disciples of the Lord, went to the high priest and asked him for letters to the synagogues at Damascus, so that if he found any who belonged to the way, men or women, he might bring them bound to Jerusalem. Now as he was going along and approaching Damascus, Suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice say to him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? He asked, Who are you, Lord? The reply came, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. But get up and enter the city, and you will be told what you are to do. The men who were traveling with him stood speechless because they heard the voice but saw no one. Saul got up from the ground, and though his eyes were open, he could see nothing. So they led him by the hand and brought him into Damascus. For three days he was out, he was without sight, and neither ate nor drank. Now there was a disciple in Damascus named Ananias. The Lord said to him in the vision, Ananias, he answered, Here I am, Lord. The Lord said to him, Get up and go to the street called Straight, and at the house of Judas look for a man of Tarsus named Saul. At this moment he is praying, and he has seen in a vision a man named Ananias come in and lay his hands on him so that he might regain his sight. But Ananias answered, Lord, I have heard from many about this man, how much evil he has done to your saints in Jerusalem. And here he has authority from the chief priests to bind all who invoke your name. But the Lord said to him, Go, for he is an instrument whom I have chosen to bring my name before Gentiles and kings and before all the people of Israel. I myself will show him how much he must suffer for the sake of my name. So Ananias went and entered the house. He laid his hands on Saul and said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus, who appeared to you on your way here, has sent me so that you may regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. And immediately something like scales fell from his eyes and his sight was restored. Then he got up and was baptized, and after taking some food, he regained his strength. For several days he was with the disciples in Damascus, and immediately he began to proclaim Jesus in the synagogue, saying, He is the Son of God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
I looked, and I heard the voice of many angels surrounding the throne and the living creatures and the elders. They numbered myriads of myriads and thousands of thousands, singing with full voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slaughtered to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honor and glory and blessing. Then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea and all that is in them singing. To the one seated on the throne and to the Lamb be blessing and honor and glory and might forever and ever. And the four living creatures said, Amen. And the elders fell down and worshipped. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. According to John. Lord, to you, Lord Christ. Jesus showed himself again to the disciples by the Sea of Tiberias, and he showed himself in this way. Gathered there together were Simon Peter, Thomas called the twin, Nathaniel of Cana of in Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, and two others of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We will go with you. They went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. Just after daybreak, Jesus stood on the beach, 
But the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, you have no fish, have you? They answered him, No. He said to them, Cast the net to the right side of the boat, and you will find some. So they cast it, and now they were not able to haul it in, because there were so many fish. That disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he put on some clothes, for he was naked, and jumped into the sea. But the other disciples came in the boat, dragging the net full of fish, for there were not far from the land, only about a hundred yards off. When they had gone ashore, they saw a charcoal fire there with fish on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish that you have just caught. So Simon Peter went aboard and hauled the net ashore full of large fish, 153 of them. And though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come and have some breakfast. Now none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? Because they knew it was the Lord. Jesus came and took bread and gave it to them, and did the same with the fish. Now, <clears throat> this was now the third time that Jesus appeared to the disciples after he was raised from the dead. When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. The second time he said to them, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him a third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter felt hurt because he said to him the third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Very truly I tell you, when you were younger, you used to fasten your belt, your own belt, and to go wherever you wished. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands, and someone else will fasten a belt around you and take you where you do not wish to go. He said this to indicate the kind of death by which he would glorify God. After this, he said to him, Follow me. The Gospel of the Lord. that they too will live and that we too 
will live, even after we die. And Jesus has this conversation with Peter. And that's what I wanted to focus on. Jesus says to Peter, Do you love me? Now, you know, we, we say that to folks that we know, that we love, our moms and dads. And they say it to us, I love you. And it's, Jesus asked him, Do you love me? And Peter said, Yes, Lord, I do love you. And you think that was the end of it? He told him he loved him. But, but what Jesus did was he asked him again. He said, Peter, do you love me? And Peter said, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. And then Jesus asked him again. Three times he asked Jesus, Do you love me? And Peter answered him the third time, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. <clears throat> but each time Peter answered that, Jesus also said something to him. The first time, Peter said, I love you. Jesus told him to tend, to feed my lambs. Little lambs, right? Feed my lambs. And then the second time, Peter said, I love you. Jesus said, tend my sheep. And then the third time, Peter said, I love you. Jesus said, Feed my sheep. Now I have a question for you. Did Jesus have sheep? Bah, bah. Did he have little lambs running around that he took care of? Do you ever, do you, have you ever heard a story about Jesus with actual sheep? He told some stories about sheep and shepherds. And he said, I am the good shepherd. I give my life for my sheep. But we never actually saw Jesus with sheep. So who was he talking about? He said, feed my lambs, tend my sheep, and feed my sheep. Who do you suppose he was talking about? Well, let me put it this way. If Jesus is a shepherd, and he doesn't have actual sheep, what about the people who follow him? Are we, maybe, Jesus' sheep and lambs? Does that make sense? Yeah? Maybe? It makes sense to me. I think... You guys are Jesus' sheep, lambs. I think your moms and your dads are Jesus' sheep. I think all of those people out there are Jesus' sheep. I'm just waiting for some smart aleck to go back. Smart aleck, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're Jesus' sheep. And some of the stories Jesus talks about, sheep are like when a sheep gets lost, the shepherd goes after the sheep and brings it back. And that's kind of like what Jesus did for us. We were kind of like lost sheep, and Jesus came for us to bring us back to God. So if Jesus told Peter... Okay, you love me, therefore feed my lambs. You love me, therefore tend my sheep. You love me, therefore feed my sheep. What should we be doing, you and me? I'm thinking we should be taking care of Jesus' sheep. We should be taking care of of each other. Does that make sense? 
Because if we love Jesus, we don't see Him, we don't get to interact with Him in person, but we can interact with each other, right? And we can take care of each other. And I think that's what Jesus was talking about. Feed my sheep, feed my lambs. Well, if any, any of God's children are hungry, we should feed them. And if any of God's children need any kind of help, we should help them. And that's a lot of work. But God helps us doing that as we take care of each other. Makes sense? Go like this. <laughs> yeah. Well, how about we end with a prayer? Let us pray. Lord, we give you thanks that you have called us to be your sheep and that in loving you we may show that love by caring for one another and for all of your children. We ask for your help as we do this. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 All right. Thank you all for coming down. Good to see you. We'll see you later. Let us now stand and confess our faith as we say together the Nicene Creed on page 358. We believe in one God.
Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble. Give to the departed eternal rest. Let light rest in my We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share your Let us pray for our own needs and those of others. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see everybody. Good to be back. We had a nice, uh, a nice week off after Easter, uh, and I understand things went well with uh, Mother Arlene last week. Uh, I hope so because she's going to be back next week. Uh, I, our son uh, Aaron is uh, graduating next Sunday morning. Had to be on a Sunday in the morning. Couldn't be on a Saturday. Couldn't be on a sa Sunday afternoon. But. Uh, so uh, Eileen was gracious enough to do supply again uh, next Sunday. So um, thank you. And um, I wanted to uh, mention there's even song this evening at five o'clock. So do come and enjoy a lovely uh, service of evening even song with a light uh, um, reception afterwards. I forgot the word reception for a second. Um, <clears throat> Speaking of receptions, we do have coffee hour today after uh, after church. Uh, if you are if you're visiting today, if you're first time or, or still kind of a newcomer, I hope that you make yourself known to Joan. She's our reader. And I have a song for all the new people that are here. You are all us little sheep, little sheep. <laughs> you are all us little sheep. Coffee hour, didn't I? Yes. Okay. All right. 
going through my list here. Um, oh, uh, not this week, but next week, May 10th through the 11th is Center Gives, which if you're not familiar with it, it's, it's an online only uh, fundraising event that supports uh, Center County uh, nonprofits. So if you're on anybody's list, you probably have already gotten emails about uh, Center Gibbs. Uh, but the ministry that St. Andrews has on there uh, that is raising funds for is our community cafe. And they just started to do that, I think last year was the first year they did uh, Center Gibbs. <clears throat> and it was then, and it is now, something that is actually replacing uh, quite a few of the regular fundraisers that they do. Um, you, you may not realize that uh, the, our community cafe, uh, which serves uh, really uh, a lot of people, uh, probably uh, through the pandemic, it's been uh, over 180 a week that we've been serving meals to. Um, it's, there is no line in our budget to support the community cafe. So it's all fundraising uh, that they do, uh, and they do a really good job of fundraising. There are a lot of folks that like to support that ministry. But Center Gives is an opportunity to support that ministry and uh, look for more information about that. And yes, there are lots of other great, uh, worthy causes that will be asking for your money through the Center Gives appeal. But um, if that is the one St. Andrews uh, ministry that uh, is, is part of that um, operation. Uh, any other uh, any other announcements? Mary? Just have to remind people we are also a member of the New Faith Human Services and they are also working with mm -hmm. us. Yes. Yes. Anything else? Offer to God the sacrifice of thanksgiving and make good your vows to the Most High.
but chiefly are we bound to praise you for the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. For he is the true Paschal Lamb who is sacrificed for us and has taken away the sin of the world. By his death he has destroyed death. And by his rising to life again he has won for us everlasting life. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and all the company of heaven who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name.
God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on Him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving.
from the dead, our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant. Make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well pleasing in his sight. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.